is not based on either of those. It's not based on previous matrix matrixes. Is that a word? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Nadine Rich, founder of CruelTyFreeModels.com. On this channel, I talk about all things cruelty-free and vegan beauty, vegan and sustainable fashion, eco-models and creatives, and as always, have a little fun. So you guys, I am so excited today for this video. I am going to be going over Jessica Henwick's beauty routine, uploaded by Vogue. But basically with these videos, I am going through the routines and letting you know which products or which brands are cruelty free, which ones are vegan, that sort of thing. Oh, and for those of you that don't know who Jessica Henwick is, she is one of the stars of the upcoming Matrix Resurrections movie. Oh my God, you guys, me and my husband are so excited to go see this movie, uh, hopefully this weekend, but you know, the funny thing is I've heard some mixed reviews. I've heard a lot of people saying that it was like not great. But you know what? I'm not even I'm not even going to, you know, let that um, concern me because a lot of people didn't like the first Matrix or the second Matrix. But it really it just boils down to your understanding of the movie and the concept. So yeah. Also, I heard that a lot of people were comparing it to the first Matrix or the first and second Matrix, but this is not based on either of those. It's not based on previous Matrix Matrixes. Is that a word? <laughs> um, it's its own thing. So it's like the matrix, but set in current time, so to speak. So it's definitely got mentions of social media and that sort of thing. So keep that in mind if you haven't seen it and you're gonna go see it. If you've already seen it and I'm totally off point, then <laughs> let me know in the comment section. But yeah, other than that, let's get right into this video. She's so adorable. And she looks so good even with no makeup. Okay, you guys, so the first product that she's using is a Shiseido product. And I can tell you right off the bat that Shiseido is not a cruelty-free brand. So definitely not one you want to um, use if you are trying to be cruelty-free in your Beauty products, Shiseido is not cruelty free. Skincare is so important, you guys. I actually didn't really get into skincare for the longest time. Not until my 30s did I not get into skincare. And God, I wish I had, you know, before because I am noticing all kinds of fine lines and skin damage that I know I could have prevented. So if you're not into the skincare game, then get into it. So the product she's using right now is by 111 Skin, and I'm happy to report 111 Skin is a cruelty-free brand, woo! Um, however, they are not vegan, so if you're into vegan beauty, then you wanna pass on this. They may have, well, they may have some vegan products, but I don't know exactly what those are, um, so you definitely want to check into that. But again, this is cruelty-free, um, but this brand is not vegan. I do love a sheet mask, y'all. So again, she is using a Shiseido 
Am I saying it right? Shiseido <laughs> product. Um, again, they are not cruelty free. So. You guys, stay away from the DIY skincare, y'all. No, just just no. Trust me on this. <laughs> Okay, so this is a product by Trilogy, um, which I'm happy to say they are cruelty free. Woo -woo. So yes, Trilogy is cruelty free. However, they are not a vegan brand, but this specific product is vegan. So that's pretty cool. This is a ro uh, ro rose oil. So <laughs> you can definitely check this out if you are vegan. I don't use this all over my face as much now. I use it as spot treatment to an extent. This is the last step in my skincare routine. This is the gua sha. I'm sure you've seen it all over Instagram. I don't do the full face thing, so I just try and do this for the next time. Just get that sort of added straight into it. I'm going to put Now that is one thing that I have not yet gotten into, um, but I do, well, I don't know. It's between that and the, um, the cold roller. I'm not sure if I should be using both or one or the other, but yeah. That makes two of us. <laughs> You know what's funny about that? A lot of brands are actually doing away with Photoshop, which has got me really excited. Um, I forgot which brands it was, but I know a lot of brands um, are going Photoshop free, which I think is so important, so good right now, you know. So. Okay, so she's using a lip product by Glossier. Uh, which I recently did a video on. So if you saw that, you would know that Glossier is cruelty free. Woo -woo. And yes, um, they are not vegan. However, they do have a good, a good many of products that are vegan. So yes, Glossier is cruelty free, has some vegan products. So yes, let's keep going. It's a lip balm. Well, obviously. <laughs> Okay, so she's using a YSL, I believe she used a primer and a foundation. YSL is definitely not cruelty free, definitely not cruelty free or vegan. They sell where animal testing is required by law. So YSL, not cruelty free you guys, I'm so sorry. So the next couple products that she's gonna be using are Glossier products and I know I already told you guys that they're cruelty free, but I still wanna go through these because um, like I said, they do have a good bit of products that are vegan, so I want to point out which ones are vegan as well. So, yeah. So the first one is the Glossier Boy Brow, um, which is, again, is cruelty-free, but this particular product is not vegan. So, yeah, let's continue. Dude, I am the worst, the worst with brows. Like, I don't know, but. 
So she's using the Glossier Sky Wash. Now, again, Glossier is a cruelty-free brand. However, this particular product is not vegan. <laughs> Okay, so the this is the, again, like she said, the Glossier Lash Slick. And this particular product, of course, is cruelty-free, but this product is not vegan. And I want to make a correction. The product she used previous to this, which was the Sky Wash, actually is vegan. So the Glossier Sky Wash is cruelty-free and vegan. So, woo! All right, <laughs> let's continue. Okay, so another Glossier product, and this is the Cloud Paint, and it is cruelty-free, but not vegan. So the only Glossier product that she used in this routine so far that is vegan is the Glossier Sky Wash. Okay, the final product that she's using is another YSL product. And again, YSL is not cruelty free. They sell where animal testing is required by law. So, all right, you guys, that concludes uh, Jessica Henwick's beauty routine. And you know, she got, there was a total of five brands that she used. Three out of five of them were cruelty free. So over half, even though it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't that many products. So I don't know, you guys, what should we give her? Okay, I'm gonna give her, I'm gonna give her a 2.8 because she did get over half the products cruelty free, but it wasn't that many products as well. So yeah, I think a 2.8 is fair. So 2.8 out of five. So, you know, definitely room for, for improvement, but uh, you know, a little is better than none, so yes. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share. Sharing is caring. All right, you guys, I will see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to let me know if you've seen the new Matrix yet, and if you have, give me the 411. No spoilers though, no spoilers. So yes, I will see you guys.